And you know what you tell them? Say it's three types of people. It's people from around the way. It's people that's in the way. And what else? It's people that make a way. Big motion. I lost a bag and got a bigger bag. I lost a friend and got a real friend. Thought I lost a plug. He was really just a middle man. Things just be test. Like the universe tests you. With Get things. out. No, I just, I just opened it. I just opened it. And no, you're going to open my door for me. Come out and open the door for me. Or I'm not getting in. No, it, it's cold outside now. You're not cold. Come inside. Come open my door. Please. It's cool. Uh, you're, but you're already standing there now. What's just coming? I see. I turned on the heat. Look, the car seat is. Every, the car seat is. Warm. I don't care everything. what you turned on. I'm not getting the in the car. Everything is on. I'm not getting in this car until you come and open the door for me. I'm a lady. No, I get that. But you're already standing there now. It's not. It's not like I. I, I, I can. You know, I can. But you're. You're there. So I'm just saying, since you're there, I've already opened it. Just get in. I now. don't touch doors. So, come, open the door for me. So I, drew, so, I drove 30 minutes to get here, and I'm here, I turned on the heater, everything. Even the date we're going on is me that we pay. You see, I'll be pay and I'll bring you back. So, the least you can do is come and sit down. <laughs> I'm offering you free seats. No. I'm not getting in the car. <sighs> what kind of... So, I would have just drove off. I ain't gonna lie. Like, don't get it wrong. I start doing that chivalrous stuff. Like, when it's time. You see what I'm saying? Like, hell no. <laughs> like, see, and I know some women that's going to see this go be like, that's why I'm perfectly fine. Trust me. I hey, never had a problem with women. Never each his own. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not going to go up. I'm not going to go above and beyond and just for you to walk away with my stuff in the end. Different. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Now, if a woman showed me she really liked that course, shit, I drop my coat on the ground, let you walk over it, whatever the case may be. I, I really don't care, but you got to earn that, right? Things in life is earned, not just given. We be given like, like yet again, they want to, they don't even be talking like, like ladies. See, to me, even the way she talking just come off with hostility. Like, you ain't like, you could have been like, hey, baby, I'm sorry. I just, I'm a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm supposed to be on a, a true trophy wife. You don't see them. How many times you show off your trophies at people? Every blue moon, that's like that event. Every I'm trying to tell you, stay in the house. <laughs> Thank you. Not, Hell no. This, is not, this one is Wahala. We've never, we've never started. Are you ever? Thank you for being a gentleman. Yo, everyone just said, it's just normal. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you like I'm this, ready now. Uh, you know what? Don't worry. Come out. Are you serious? No, just come out because I don't. I I don't think this. No, come come. Just come out. Are you serious right now? No, come. <laughs> I want to show you something. Okay. I want to. I want to show you something. I, you know, I'm very confused. How I drove to this place. I came to pick you up. You could have met me there. I will also pay for the date. This place we are going minimum two hundred dollars. That I was spent, and I have to beg you to get in the car. It's not all like I, I can't open. All I was asking is that you just open the door. It's not that I can't open the door. It's just that you already stand. I opened the door twice. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, sometimes she didn't like the way he did it. He opened the door. Now he opened the door while he reached back over, closed it, <laughs> or oh, some inspector gadget type ish. I mean, I mean, look, man, each his own. But yet again, like. I'll be honest with you. I don't like holding doors for women for real. I do it because I'm respectful, but I hate doing it because most of the time you get, you don't even get it. Thank you. You know, it's crazy. I get more thank yous from men than I do women when it comes to even holding the door. That's diabolical, right? But yet again, I think too, like not trying to be rude, most women grow up seeing none but men being disrespected. And then they talk about how women are oppressed, different stuff. But I be seeing disrespect crazy. Crazy. Like, I'll give you one situation. Like, grandma and my friends. 
I'm over at his house. His sister getting into it with her, the father, her child, right? She say, motherfucker, you just mad that another motherfucker is all in my guts. I'm like, whoa, this just like blew my top. I was like, God damn. Like for me, that would have hurt my soul. Like it's just one of them things. Sometimes I think people, we don't talk about it enough. But like men, like the way we view women, like it's it sound messed up. Like, bro, I would I would sacrifice my existence for you. And it's wrong for me to look at you like like, hold on. If they, you say that's my girlfriend, right? Ain't that like a form of ownership? That's my boyfriend, Paul's. That's a form of ownership. Like, that's my wife. You see what I'm saying? Vice, you, you, you get what I'm saying? It, this isn't that like, like, don't get it wrong. You don't technically own, but you do. If I don't own you, then what I need to protect you for? You know what I'm saying? If I don't own, uh, uh, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's one of those things you could take a certain way. But I just think a lot of times things be sticky. That's why if you look at the, the metrics of things, it's on the decline when it comes to just men and a lot of different aspects. We just don't feel valued the same. You know, that's why I appreciate y'all for giving me the, that advice in the comments. I do. I do. I do. All the brothers that gave me some advice, because in order to do better, you got to know, right? You got to know to do better. So I appreciate y'all. Y'all gave me like one dude showed me a video, gave me like, damn. Bro knew what he was talking about. So I appreciate that. And please, guys, don't try to argue like the thing about text too. you could perceive that in, in your own way. I'm not. I, that's why I really didn't want to get into it, because, you know, men going to handle business. Y'all going to do what y'all do. But, you know, try to be respectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't I don't know. Like, I, I wasn't trying to even get all into that like that. But I get where y'all all y'all was coming from, you know. But that text be crazy. Where are you going? Sometimes you just be avoiding problems. Where are you going? I'm, I'm getting in my car. I can, I'm opening my door by myself. Are you serious? I just wanted you be, to be a gentleman. No, don't worry. He's like, enjoy your night. Is he freaking serious right now? Hell yeah, I'd have left. So that I left. So I don't run your, I don't climb on your legs or something. Where are you going? We were supposed to be going on a date. Where are you going? No, I'm going home. <laughs> it's not a... Yo, I'm Didn't mama. you drive out here for me? I thought I did, but clearly. I'm, let, me just, let me just respect myself. And What's the, the, the term? Have the cake and eat it too or something? It's your cake and you eat it too. Whatever that term is, right? Or phrase, right? It just, it be sometimes diabolical. Like another thing, bro, I had a woman come in there and she was like, you men. And I'm like, oh, she better. She better and upset. That's why she probably going to be lonely and a single mom. I'm like, I was like, I don't, like me personally, I don't care. i really be honest with you. Like when we was talking about the cat calling, now I think it's idiotic. It's moronic if that's what you're doing, correct? But at the same time, bro, I've never seen a dude. I never was with a dude. And he said, Hey, baby, you look good. I, I never, I never seen that. Like, I'll be honest with you. For me, just recall it. I never seen, I always seen dude. Like, I might seen, like, probably somebody say, hey, mom. And they running up. How you doing? You know, I have a conversation face to face. I never seen it. And then you know what's going to happen to guys. If we stop doing all that, like we've been doing, where's all the man that, like, this one woman was like, oh, uh, give me a sec. I'm going to try to find a video. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. All right, I found it. But this one diabolical, y'all. This one diabolical. Look, 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 look. Totally 110%. I think I didn't find my husband yet because all the women expectations is really having the men go into a hole. Because who the hell is y'all to say y'all want a man that makes 500000 a year? They hide because of y'all unrealistic ass expectations. You know, and that's be crazy. Like everybody want to be an entrepreneur. You're not a good boss champ. You're not a good owner champ. Uh, everybody think they supposed to be making some crazy amount of money. You're not like that. Try to work hard and get there. But they just want to jump out. Oh, if you ain't got like they want everybody established. Like if we be real, we won't. If we give women what they want, we wouldn't see them till we in our 30s and 40s. And about time, a lot of them would be no disrespect. Would they even be the type of woman we want at that point? Because I got some better terms to say, but I just think it's, if I say it, it, it'd be disrespectful. I'm pretty sure all the men 
know what I mean. But at the same time, it's just one of them things like y'all created this situation yourselves. Send me some eye. They got enough to make sure that I got lights on, water running. I'm smiling and we eating. Y'all asking for the most. Y'all want a man to buy y'all a boat. Uh, 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 I can't even say it right. Y'all want a man to buy y'all a boat, a yacht, and a crib, and pay for your kids' schooling, your desires, your kids' desires. Like, that shit, you see, you hear how unrealistic that shit sounds? This how a lot of y'all women sound. Ridiculous. That's why we ain't got nobody yet, because y'all scaring them into a damn hole. Please, separate me from everybody else. Husband, come find me. You ain't got to make 500 k for me. I'm. You could make $500. If you can make that shit work all year and I'm eating, I'm good. Totally y'all, here go the other one I pulled up for y'all. Look, this one. Like, what you talking about? My bad. I know the the, the zoom, the zoom, zoom ain't that good. So y'all just really this for the audio purposes for real. You know what I'm saying? You really gonna look at my ass. <laughs> all right, here we go. So he came home and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So you know, I'm a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever, you know, and I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just, in a month, like, it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? I told this man from day one, my money is my money. And his money is our money. Why should I spend my money? You know what's crazy? I don't like that's that's just diabolical way of thinking. We supposed to be a unit, right? Don't get it wrong with hey, it. We supposed to be a unit. So this why nobody want to even be in. The, like, come on, man. Get this is some toxic ish. The bills. Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided. Like, I can't be with this man no more. So. I had sex with his homeboy. Like, we all cool. I texted his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got, we left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill, We was chilling. We were drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting. You know, like, I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with his friend. But things happen. Things happen. Like, y'all understand what I'm going through. So... You know, his friend ended up giving me some money or whatever. And he was like, you know, babe, look, don't worry about it. Do handle whatever you got to handle. Like, his friend was every single thing I desire in a man. Like, everything I desire in a man. And, you know, ain't nobody trying to hear my side. Ain't nobody trying to hear me out and what I went through. Like, it's, that's not okay. That's not cool. You made a promise to me and you broke that promise. How am I wrong if I told him who I was and he didn't stick to... He didn't stick to what he agreed to. Like, that's not love. If you love me, you're going to pay them bills. You're going to do what you told me you was going to do as a man. Oh, boy, is a hut. Oh, boy, he get money. He get money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, it's just too much. All these, like, everybody coming for me and stuff like that, and it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not. So he came home, and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. That's, that's diabolical, y'all. Like, just off the aspect that that you could do that. You know what I mean? That just, that's crazy work. That's some crazy work. Like, damn. So she sat up there. We won't break this down. He said, baby, I ain't got the money. So you gonna pay me back? What if he was testing her? And he really just took a leave of absence for a while. You know, he said, I ain't feeling well or some sick, a couple, uh, who knows what he did. But why if he didn't lose his job, he was just testing her. Man, y'all, like, that's crazy, crazy, crazy. That's why you got to try to pick your, man, you better interview these women. Even women, you better interview these men. Have a, hey, how many kids you want? Well, I don't think we interview enough. We just go off the attraction. Like, what's the, is this man capable of even handling you? I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I, I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. Act like, I swear to God, y'all, I, I, I talked to some beautiful women. I'm talking about punching up weight classes, right? But I was like, I always was, because see, for me, I ain't had no parents. I'm staying with my aunt at the time. I always knew, dang, something go happen with this woman. Let's just say the relationship get deep. Bro, I couldn't even go to the movies. My aunt wouldn't give me money to go to the movies. And she was getting a check from, man, this was crazy, y'all. She getting a check from me, for me, for my mom, my dad. And at the time, I believe um, 
Children Family Services was paying her too. And this one was making over a band a month. I think two bands a month when it came to me, right? Bro, I couldn't get nothing. Go get a job. I'm 14. Go get a job. I'm 15. Go get a job. Like, bro, like if I really just allowed that negative situation to be in me, if it wasn't for me being at school, probably eight hours and not interacting with her that much. And then on top of it, because I was in our alternative school sometimes and part time, especially my high school year, senior, no, not senior, June. Uh, I, yeah, I was in there. I had like few. I had like an hour I was there senior year, but I was in there basically off and on, you know, throughout my life. But I, I went in there about my ninth grade year. I started going on both of them half days. Boy, and we was in there to June 30th, y'all. That was that was some nasty work. <laughs> that was some nasty work. But the point was, it was just so diabolical, just like living with her. Another situation. Just and I'm not trying to bash women. I just don't think they know what they be doing to these young men to where they grow up and create these monsters, right? I'm gonna give y'all another reason. Just that I could have been a monster, but I, I always knew better. You see what I'm saying? So it was one situation I asked my aunt. Hey, you want me to go shovel the driveway for you? Oh, I got a RAV4, you know, four-wheel drive. I'm like, all right, all right. Go back to doing whatever I was doing. I hear on the phone with my cousin, dad, these ninjas don't do nothing. Just sit on their butt. It's snowing outside. My cousin's name, she say, she like, they would have did this, did that. They lazy. That Bro, she just found it's to talk about 24-7. I'm like, man, this shit toxic. It's toxic. But man, I just think we got to do better. Like, especially women, we got to hold y'all. Y'all be creating these monsters. We say these men bad, but who been raising them? No accountability, bro. Like, that's what's crazy to me, man. That's why I say y'all always think, interview people because you never know. Y'all might not even just because you got a, a, um, a physical attraction don't mean it's even going to work. So you got to make sure certain things value up because let's be honest, we all going to get old. Things going to droop. Things ain't going to be as tight. Things might just hair. Things happen. So you really want to go off a combination of two, the physical attraction and then the, 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 what would you say? The, the unseen attraction, you know? And so you got to make sure you got both of them a bit. And most people just go for the, the physical attraction. That's why the world's so the uh, because, oh, man, she got a fat ass or she got. Uh, nah, nah, nah. And then you just like, that's why you out here as uh, a baby daddy. Don't see your kid and the kid call your kid call another man father because. It be like that in the system, you know, the system ain't going to help. So we got to just make better choices, y'all. But I seen them two videos and a little story time on my part. So I hope y'all doing well. Enjoy y'all weekend. I'm trying to find some more content and stuff in it. Hey, I'm going to put my discord in the um uh, link in the thing. And shoot, y'all got some things y'all want me to see. Hey, send me some links, y'all. And we're going we gonna to look at it together. So take care. Hopefully y'all enjoy y'all weekend. See, it's three types of people. It's people from around the way. It's people that's in the way, and what else? It's people that make a way, big motion. I lost a bag and got a bigger bag. I lost a friend and got a real friend. Thought I lost a plug, he was really just a middle man. Things just be tests, like the universe tests you with things.